Hello, Steve in Long Lake, Minnesota. See more better here with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seen Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Transitions Vantage in a Zeiss Progressive lens. This is the transition that turns polarized gray outside and has DuraVision Chrome anti glare. For your Ray Ban 2132 New Wayfair Color 622, which is the matte black rubber and the 52 eye size, let me take everything out of the original packaging as Ray Ban sends it to me. Your Italian leather Ray Ban case, your Ray Ban frame with cleaning cloth, and oop, where's the ah, there it is. Your sticker fell off, your G15 sticker that comes on these frames. Of course, all of them come with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. And of course, these are the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, color 622, size 52, eye size 18, bridge 145, temple length. In fact, they remind me of something else. What could that be? Oh, could it be the new frames that I just designed, the Christian Eyewear. Now, this is Ray-Ban model number 2132. This frame is the John 316. Now, I'm just, people are telling me, I don't want to sound like the most powerful man in the world right now, but people are telling me that have worn this frame, it is identical to this frame. Well, I should say that people have worn this frame for many, many years. Now we're wearing this one and cannot tell a difference. So let's just see. Let's weigh your frame before anything begins, and it weighs 1.2 ounces. So let's go ahead and take out the original glass lenses so we can begin tracing your frame. In fact, let's go ahead and program the shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2616, and I'm going to hit the start button. A little stylus is going to pop up, go around and trace the inside bevel of both sides of the frame here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine frame I sell, the Ray-Ban 2132, the Christian Eyewear John 316, and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. So let's just see. I'm going to take your original glass Ray-Ban lenses that you will be receiving pop them into the frame. Look at that, that snaps in there perfectly. In fact, that is so close to the original shape. If I hold it up to the light, there is no gaps whatsoever. Let's just see how much this weighs. The last pair was 1.2 grams. This one is actually 1.4 grams. What could be the difference? Why is this one a little bit heavier? Oh, this has a triple barrel hinge. There's just extra metal built into both sides of the frame. So what's that, a tenth of a gram or more than the this type of hinge that Ray-Ban puts in their frame. So that is the difference in the weight. So, but uh, okay, let's go ahead and keep working. I'm going to pop out the original glass lenses that you will be receiving. And I can begin cutting yours. So I'm, your lenses, again, are the... That's the nice thing about Zeiss. They give you all this documentation now. I'm, I would like to tell you they do this every, you know, 100% of the time, but due to the coronavirus, which we're in the middle of now, this is April 22nd. Happy Earth Day, everyone. But I've not been getting the, the 8x11 pieces of paper with uh, the lens packets, but this just goes to show this is the Zeiss Progressive Light D. I'm going to highlight all this, and of course you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging. Hey, where'd that cap go? Come back in here, cap. You come back. You're not going to stay in there. What's holding you up? Ah, I got held on to that. You're not going to steal my jokes from me. I'm going to have to recap. But this is the Zeiss Progressive Light D. These are... The Light D18, which is tells me the variable seg height. 1.5, which is the refractive index for polycarbonate transitions, Vantage Gray. Now, these are wonderful new lens technology. It's the only transitions that turns polarized outside. Um, but it only comes in gray for now. Hopefully, in the future, we'll be able to get it into the G15 or the brown for people who like brown lenses. 
but your right eye reads plus 175 minus 50 at 105. I'm going to highlight that, the strength of your progressive power. Highlight that. Your PD, the seg height, which is 23 millimeters. And because all freeform lenses, the digital freeform, have compensated powers for the, how the algorithm works, it has the compensated powers for both the right and the left lens for distance and for reading. It's got the laser engravings, so you know. Next time you go to the doctor and they ask what you wear, I'm hand them this piece of paper. They're going to be shocked. But just like everything now through the internet, I'm included, the consumer is much more knowledgeable than they ever have been. So you can shock your doctor. Now, you also get the same information written on the lens packets. Let me take out the right lens. I'm gonna place it on the platform. Same thing, the right lens is plus 175 minus 50, two and a quarter add. All the markings for that. And might as well go ahead and do the left lens plus two minus one at 79, plus two minus one at 79. The Zeiss Light D18, 1.59 refractive index of polycarbonate. The um, CR39 is 1.50, high index is 1.67. Of course, Transitions Vantage is written right there. And it's got a right for the right lens and L for the left lens. If you guys missed any of that, say it with me. Let me recap. Now don't be grabbing hold of that red thing. So. Um, this is a block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers of which I've got here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to line this up on the first one. The sticker. Do the same thing now for the second one. Now on the back is a little silver button that is a magnet that's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. I'm going to move on to the next screen. Let me enter your pupillary distance of 31 for each eye. 31 which it is written notice the 23 for the seg height the 23 so we're going to move the pupillary distance to 31 the seg height to 23 change the layout screen from single vision to progressive and progressives have a little bit all the lenses have three dots single vision they're straight across progressives has one in the center two a little lower and that just tells me where to place things So, I, I get quiet when I concentrate, don't I? I'm, I'm sure you're thinking, I, you wish I would concentrate more. Hit that button, the arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper. Now, see, that pen's getting caught in that little hole. Place the left lens on the platform to pull the sticker away. Line up the magnet, same optical center height, same pupillary distance height. I don't have to change any of the information there. Just get everything laid out as such. I'm not getting quiet as much on this one. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now, this is the edger. This costs $40,000, it weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter, then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's gonna act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material. This wheel in the center that has the bevel in there is going to hold the V-shaped bevel so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to wake up the computer. Job ID number 2616. 2616, or as I like to call it, in installment 2616 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. Now make sure you watch the final episode number 330 million because there's a surprise ending spoiler alert you're gonna want to watch that so these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex i would select that i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens i have to turn that off on every single job i wish i could program the machine not to but that's just the way it comes i'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens i'm only going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens and I'll explain a little bit why later. I'm going to place the magnet on there firmly. Well, the sticker. Press the sticker on there. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles. Because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses. Making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. Tracing the shape of the right lens first that right lens and then 
measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness to show. Now the reason why I brought these up, Steve, I hope you don't mind me saying, but I just realized that I am a cover band. I've been putting lenses in other people's songs and I decided I want to write my own song so I've come up with Christian Eyewear. This is the first of a few brands that you will see me do this year. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this frame so much that I've been wearing it for the last seven or eight years. This frame was originally designed in 1992. Originally in 1952, Bausch & Lomb came out with the original, what well, was just called the Wayfair, model number 2140. It has a deeper lens, a wider bridge, and it has what's known as panoscopic tilt. So it sits away from the eyebrows in towards the cheek. So in 1992, they redesigned the frame, called it the new Wayfair. They took the tilt out and made it more perpendicular to the face. Because if you ask my opinion, somewhat of a design flaw for sunglasses, if they sit away from the face, allowing light to get into the eyes. And they made this one much more comfortable. But that's just my opinion. And she will tell you that don't mean nothing. But this frame is the one that got me started selling online. I liked it so much. It was so comfortable. It was so durable that when I first built my website, the very first website, this was the only frame that was on there because I just pictured myself, how would I buy online? And I only know this frame and how it feels. I didn't realize that people would go out, wear other model numbers, know what they want, want to replace that, have tried it on elsewhere and want it. So speaking of which, if you have worn this frame, the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer in size 52, scratch that. These are size 52. These are the samples that were sent to me. I'm redoing these into the 55 eye size. I keep a frame here with no temples in case people need lenses for their size 55 frame. I trace this, pop the lenses in, and then I ship them their lenses. I'm going to change these. They will no longer, these are the only three that will be the 52 eye size. The, starting now, in a few more months, half a year, I'll have these, but I want to start them in the 55 eye size, which people typically wear as their sunglasses. They wear this size as their clear glasses, but I think people are more likely to try something a little bit different and unique on sunglasses because it's not something they wear the whole time so that's why i'm trying that i will be coming out with the larger the new 58 eye size that ray-ban comes i will be doing that for christian eyewear as well as this current one let me go ahead and pop this lens in make sure everything is remove all the optical sawdust is off the lens. I'm going to tuck these in the outside corner, push down, they snap right in. Let's flip that over to L, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Steve. It's going around tracing the shape of the left lens this time. By the way, the lenses, these polycarbonate lenses that are in there, they're 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These have 100% UVA and UVB protection. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses and have, as I said, 100% UV protection. Then you have sunglass quality protection even in a clear lens. So I'm gonna come down here, turn the axis wheel to 105. Put your lens in above the black dot and read the prescription I am getting plus 175 one tick mark going away from one towards two one tick mark away from two that's because you are far-sighted with your glasses off everything is much too small so your lens is magnified even for your distance you have a plus 175 mag if you were to put on reading glasses either a plus 175 you would actually be able to see far away the only problem is you would still have fuzzy edges you have two steps of astigmatism correction in your left eye. So you have plus 175 here, minus 50 here, and it's how we line up those two curves. And we're going to line those up at the 105 meridian. Let's check the second power first. And we're at plus one and a quarter, one tick mark away from one. Because if you had a dollar 75 and someone borrowed 50 cents from you, you'd be left with a dollar 25 until they paid you back. Now your left eye, you need eight steps. Everything's in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1, and so on. So, whoa, come on now. 
hang that on there. The cloth is uh, now vertical. It used to be horizontal, so it doesn't keep its weight as well. I'm working, you know, life is a process. You learn these things. Life is a process. You learn these things. And someone just said that. I can't remember who it was. But your left eye, you need eight steps of far sided correction and a full diopter. So we're going to end up at a total power of plus one after we read that. Now, a straight line. That the first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. So a straight line is 0 to 90, again to 180. We're for the right eye, we're going to turn that fine tune knob to about 105. For the left eye, we're going to turn it to 79. Come down here, take the left lens out. Let's just see something, if we will. And that snaps in there perfectly. In fact, let's show you that again. No gaps whatsoever. Let's take that out. Let's grab the Ray-Ban frame. Snaps in perfectly. No gaps. <laughs> so, add to my sticker collection. Come down here. Put it in over that black dot, turn the fine tune knob, the axis wheel to 79. Put it in over the black dot, read the power, and I am getting plus 2 in the black. The black numbers magnify, the red numbers minify. Far sided, near sided, hyperope, myope. So let's check the second curvature, your astigmatism correction. We end up at plus one. Again, you started at two, someone borrowed a dollar from you, you're down to plus one. Pupillary distance is 31 for each eye for a total of 62, optical center height of 23. Place the PD stick against my thumb. When we hold this up to the right lens, read it off of the left lens, we're getting 62 millimeters, that is cut perfectly. Optical center height, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the plastic of the deepest part. We're getting 23 millimeters. 23 millimeters. This is what's known as final inspection. I have to inspect all of this, by the way. All lenses, regardless of where the frames come from. These are from Italy. All lenses are handcrafted in the United States by this licensed optician with over 20 years experience with cutting over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses. All of them are made in America. They're all wiped down with 91% alcohol before they're shipped, cases included. Just because of the coronavirus, I wiped down the outside of the box too. So, this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. and Long Lake, Minnesota is still in the U.S., so there's free shipping there. But when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But um, I'm part of that 80%, so I'll show you in just a moment. But I also send out... A selfie request to have your picture on the website. I would love two pictures, Steve. One with these clear inside, one with the Transitions Vantage polarized outside when you're on the water. I assume uh, being on in Long Lake, Minnesota, you're near some water. But I am going to, again, get them in standard alignment, also known as three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I'm part of that 80% too. When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter. But they sit level on me. I'm wearing the same frame in color 6053, which is the blue crystal. Because I almost always have a blue shirt with a print on. And that crystal goes with my wisdom highlights that I have coming in over my ears. That you can't see because I'm behind the camera. Flip this over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and that neither temple is askew like that. Check the tension on each hinge. If one was tighter or one was looser, I would tighten the loose one. I would loosen the tight one so they're, the tighter one, so that they're matching. So, I also send out cleaning instructions in every video, not only for your frame and lenses, 
but for the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth that you'll get, the premium microfiber cloth that I'll provide, you also get a Zeiss cleaning cloth, as well instructions on how to take care of your case, so it too will last you for years. Now, the last thing I do want to say about the size 52 frames, these were my samples. You will get a choice. This is called colored dogwood. It now has a scratched surface where it feels like wood grain, but I love the color of the inside of the temples. Of course, in white, it says John 316, color dogwood 52, 16, 145. I think I want the wood on the outside because uh, there's an old saying, if you're going to walk up to the bell, ring it. And if I'm doing a, a Christian eyewear, I wanted something that looked like the cross. It also comes in a shiny black as well as a majestic purple. Each frame will be available with either a silver or gold cross embedded into the temple that is in there smooth. It is screwed on with silicone so the screw won't back out. You also have a matching cross with the corresponding color. The silver cross will have a silver cross on the temple tip. The gold one will have gold painted on there. They sent me this sample with white to see what I think and I think I just want to keep the colors matching. So, but coming up, I will have more frames available. Just, just not yet, not yet, but that's coming. I also want to do a magnetic clip-on on the 52 eye size, the 55, the 58, all things in time. Life is a process. We have to get baby steps. I don't have to see the whole staircase. I just have to take the first step and then the path will be shown to me. So, let's get back to Steve's work. This is what he's been waiting on. So this is what your lenses look like clear, your, your Transitions Vantage Gray lenses. I'm going to go ahead and expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for Transitions Vantage lenses to turn dark a little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now this is important, everyone pay attention. All Transitions and Transitions Vantage lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple of weeks are exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. So they will get darker. Come on, Steve, we talked about that. Don't you remember? Stay with me. Now they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 degrees and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. I'm just going to go ahead and expose them to a second, longer, stronger burst of UV light just to try and replicate what these will look like in a couple weeks. There we go. That's darker. That's darker. So... Now when you look out, you see the gray, and people look at you, they see the gray. Now again, hopefully in the coming years we'll have more colors to choose from, a Vantage Brown or a Vantage G15, but for now we have the gray. So, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, so you, and click the bell icon so you can get future notifications of frames and lenses and lens frame and lens combinations as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. You can also leave a, if you have any questions, you can go to the Contact Me page of the website and leave a question. You can also leave a comment in the comment section below. I will put a link in the description below if anyone else wants this frame. I will soon hopefully have links and other videos for the people who want these. By the way, one last thing I'm going to say. Anyone who pre-orders these in the 55 eye size, which will be available in 90 days from today, which, let's play it safe, will be August 1st. Anyone who pre-orders these as sunglasses, of course, you can always get them with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. But if you want these as sunglasses, these are just tinted lenses. I will upgrade anyone. These will sell for $150 complete. Anyone who purchased these, I will automatically upgrade to polarized. I can get you the polarized gray with uh, the black lenses. I can do polarized brown and the purple lenses or polarized brown. These come with um, you know brown lenses, but I will upgrade you to either polarized brown or polarized gray, whatever you prefer. If you pre-order these, for $150. They come with tinted lenses. I will let everyone upgrade to polarized and non-prescription. Having said that, anyone who buys tinted prescription lenses, which cost $20, I will upgrade you to polarized prescription lenses. Anyone who pre-orders 
before August 1st because order now while supplies last as they say whoever they is it's the same people who who say I've been wearing this frame for years this is identical it's it's the they they the them they those they's thems that's who I'm talking about but yeah pre-order for $150 non-prescription you will get a free pair of polarized lenses if you order prescription single vision line style bifocal or progressive pay $20 for tinted I will upgrade you to polarized at no charge after October uh, excuse me excuse me August 1st after August 1st and these are here polarized adds $70 to prescription so order now to save that $70 and to make sure you, that you get a pair while, does, while supplies last. In the 55 eye size, shiny black, dogwood, or majestic purple. And again, either color, the three colors, you can get a silver cross or a gold cross. Corresponding color at the temple tip. All of these frames were designed in the United States by this guy with the two thumbs. And a little help from this frame. So... Thank you for watching, Steve. Thank you so much for your patience. And while we sort out your order and get you exactly what you want, this was the Ray-Ban 2132, size 52, color 622, the matte black with your Zeiss Light D Progressive Transitions Vantage lenses with DuraVision Chrome. This frame sells for $150. Your Zeiss Digital Freeform Progressive lens adds $149.99. The Transitions Vantage is $149.99. Now Transitions is, is $99. Polarized adds $70. So instead of $170, these are a $150 add-on. So now you can get Transitions Polarized. And the DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare is $69.99 for a total of $519.97 tax-free. The reason why I point that out now in my videos is that a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. I'm in North Carolina where these were designed. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax on medical devices. So I do not have to charge tax, nor do I charge for shipping, nor do I charge for bad jokes. Let me recap. I don't charge for bad jokes. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And hopefully now everyone has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.